welcome to Dizzy's, and thank you for coming to the Late Show. <laughs> I'd first like to say thank you for coming, and this is a great new project that we've been working on. It's really fun. And you're going to be listening to Mr. Ilmar Gavilan on the violin there. Yeah. <laughs> Melissa White on the violin. Yes. Felix Tumansky on the cello. And Jaime Amador on the viola. Yeah. Better known as the Harlem String Quartet. And um, this, this is a combination of pieces you're going to hear tonight. The, there are, is going to be one longer piece that we're going to kind of chop up in different movements because I, um, I originally wrote this piece. Uh, I was commissioned to write it some years back. Uh, and it's a, it's a piece for string quartet and bass, but I, I wanted to make it kind of modular. It's called Paintings in the Now. And it's really about um, s suggesting to the listener an image so that you can have your own image of what the painting is by the music you hear. You can create your own painting. So we're going to be doing some of those. And we're also going to be doing some arrangements that were um, absolutely specifically written for this group uh, when they contacted me. To, and we started getting into the idea of doing stuff. And so we'll be doing some arrangements that I've done of some pieces by the legends of jazz, really, is who they are, uh, the men that wrote these pieces that I arranged. So the first thing is uh, my piece. And it's the first movement from uh, Paintings in the Now. And it's called Far Away Land, Far Away Land.
Thank you very much. That's far away land. Uh, the next piece is a piece that um, was written by Chick Corea, someone who I've worked with uh, for a very long time now, since 1985, in fact. And um, he has recorded, oh my gosh, I don't know how many records at this point. Over 100, I'm sure. Probably several hundred, as far as I know. But um, this piece, Armando's Rumba, was something originally from a record way back called, I believe, My Spanish Heart. Great record. Spanish heart for a guy who's completely Italian. What, what do you, I, I don't know. That's how it goes. But uh, no, he's great. And uh, he he's ha has a love for Spanish music as I do. And um, the music of the flamencos and also, um, also the music from Cuba and the music from Brazil and the music from a lot of places and Africa uh, have informed us jazz musicians and really inspired us and it's really the basis of our music. So um, it's interesting, um, this piece, because it's a rumba, but it's kind of a lot of things mixed in with it and it's by Chick Corea, but I arranged this. Uh, and uh, I was surprised that, because they've worked with Chick, the Harlem Quartet, and I was surprised that they didn't have this one in the book already, because they have other music of his, and I figured they got to have Armando's Rumba. And they said, yeah, we want to do Armando's Rumba. I said, don't you already have one? And he said, no, 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 we don't have it yet. So um, I'm hoping that when Chick hears it, he likes it. <laughs> but I, I, I think the way they're playing it, he will like it. So this is Armando's Rumba by Chick Corea, and it's a little arrangement I did for these guys. Armando's Rumba.
Harlem String Quartet. Yeah. Armando's Rumba. Okay, so now uh, we're going to do the second movement of Paintings in the Now. This one is called Autumn. And we're in the wrong season, I'm sorry. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> sometimes it works out that way. But uh, this is, this is uh, a joy to play with uh, this piece with these guys. They've done such a beautiful job of learning all the music and, and a lot of music they, they had to dive into. And um, it's just fun to play chamber music. You know, we on the bass, we, there's not a lot of music written that includes us in chamber music. I've done a lot of playing with classical players and there's basically the Trout Quintet and uh, Dvorak String Quintet and a few little pieces, a few Bach, you know, the uh, Brandenburg and Charity and stuff like that. But so uh, when when you get to write your own music and people play it and, and, uh, and you're a bass player, it's really kind of a blessing to, to play with these guys. So I just want to say that. And uh, we're going to do Autumn now. Autumn. I think you've got the four seasons there. Yeah, right. It looks like it's long enough to be the Four Seasons. <laughs> well, I wish I could write like Vivaldi, though. That would be good. Okay. Yeah.
Thank you, that's Autumn. Okay, now we go from Autumn to one of the greatest composers, well, greatest pianists, and pretty great composer too in jazz. Tempest Fugit is the title of this piece. It was written by the great Bud Powell. And Bud Powell was one of the greatest uh, pianists in, in jazz music, came up in the 40s uh, in the bebop era. Um, definitely was mentored by Monk. Um, played in a style that became a favorite kind of style for Charlie Parker and Dizzy Gillespie to play with. Bird and Diz loved the way Bud Powell played. Um, I would encourage you to uh, listen to his music. He had so many great tunes. This is called Tempest Fugit. He's also, he's known for his expansive, you know, writing, like there's a, a tune called Glass Enclosures. Um, there, there are many kind of great pieces that he wrote. Um, I got inspired uh, by playing with Chick Corea for many years. He was a huge Bud Powell fanatic, and he even did a project with Roy Haynes at one point where they went out and toured uh, a lot of Bud's music. So uh, this is near and dear to my heart. Uh, Tempest Fusion, I, I'm sure you'll like it. This is a little different than the original. It kind of goes in a little direction. This is maybe if, uh, well, I'm not going to tell you. You'll hear it. You'll, you'll know. But uh, Bud Powell, Tempest Fusion. Thank you. 
Harlem String Quartet. <laughs> yes, indeed. Yeah. Um, let's see. How's everybody doing in the late set? You guys all right? Yeah. Yeah. Good. Um, we're going to do another movement from the paintings in the now suite. And this one is called Portrait in the Now. And this is where I paint your portrait in music. So I'm going to just play something that you guys make me feel like, OK? Here we go. So, um, the next piece from the suite is called Urbanity. I grew up in Brooklyn, in East Flatbush. Yes, it's okay to clap for Brooklyn, come on. East Flatbush. Um, but I love Brooklyn, and yes. <laughs> I love Brooklyn because uh, you can find the world in Brooklyn. People from all over the world. I like that. Uh, I love growing up in the city. Sometimes the city gets maligned. People want to take from the city, but they don't want to give to the city. So 
I wrote a piece for the city called Urbanity, because I believe in it. Um, I think uh, it's a remarkable place. Just look out the window. It's pretty special, you know. But all the boroughs are special. And um, it's, it's just a great, uh, it was a great place to grow up. So anyway, uh, this is called Urbanity. It features all these wonderful players up here. And um, yeah, paintings in the now, Urbanity. Thank you. Um, we're going to do a piece now that I wrote for the great Brazilian composer, pianist, accordion, pl pl you name it, he can play anything. Um, his name is Hermato Pascual. I wrote this for him. It's called Choro Luoco, which means crazy choro. Choro is a, is a form of Brazilian music, not unlike samba, but has its own thing. Um, Kind of like if you hear lines moving like box music, but with a serious groove, that's kind of Shoro. Um, and, and because we're doing that, uh, we're going to bring up a really dear friend of mine from Sao Paulo, Brazil. 
He's part of my family. His name is Rogerio Boccato. Yeah. And he's going to do a little intro for us to show you what the pandeiro can do, which is a great thing. Um, Rogerio Boccato, this is called Shor Luoco.
Sean Loco. Yeah. Rogerio Bocato. Yeah, man. Yes, indeed. Okay. Um, okay. So now we're going to play the last of the uh, movements from the paintings in the now. This one is called Ascension. And uh, we're a little past Easter, but that's what it's about. Um, Ascension. And uh, again, I, 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 I love playing with these guys because they have a, uh, they make a beautiful sound. And uh, you get to hear what they do on this one. Ascension.
Thank you very much. Harlem String Quartet. Yeah. Okay, now you're going to hear something a little different. Um, when we started talking about doing things, um, they said they really wanted to play some really up tempo stuff. They wanted to burn out, like, you know, jazz groups they heard. And I said, You're sure about that? And you're really, okay. But they were, they were game. So um, I decided that maybe these were the people who were going to do it for the first time, and they are. This is Countdown by John Coltrane, and they play all of Train's solo in this arrangement. And uh, that's not usual for the violin, so uh, I, I think they're amazing. So that's my opinion. So, Countdown. Harlem String Quartet, Ilmar Gavilin, Melissa White, Felix Romanski, Jaime Amador. Thank you very much.
Thank you very much for coming. All right.